everyone! So today I am super excited for this tutorial because it is a bright summer pink blue, just lots of fun color tutorial and I like to call this my pretty in pink or my Barbie pink tutorial. I just feel like such a little Barbie with these colors on. I think it is so great and I love to wear it with like bright colors and all this fun stuff and it was inspired by this palette. It's called the Eyes on the 80s palette. It's a new palette from BH Cosmetics and I was so super inspired by it. They have so many fun colors that I have yet to try so many. I've only dabbed into a few but I love the pinks. The pinks just screamed out to me so I thought why not create a fun summer look for you guys. If you are interested in this palette you can click the link below and check it out and with everything I mentioned in this video I will link below in the description box. So yeah without further ado if you want to see how to create this little Barbie pink girly makeup tutorial then just keep watching. Okay, so I already started with foundation powder and primer on my eyes. I use the BH Cosmetics Liquid Foundation. I love it because it's nice and tan for summer. Um, then I got this Hello Flawless from Benefit Powder. I use this. It's pretty much hitting pan, so I use this all the time. It just keeps your face nice and matte. And then, of course, my Painterly Paint Pop from MAC. Now for the fun part, the Eyes on the 80s palette. I am so obsessed with this palette. It's by far my favorite BH Cosmetics palette. It's just lots of fun, bright colors. There's so many to choose from and so much variety, which I just absolutely adore and love in a palette. So if you guys want this palette, I will link that below. Click it if you all want to get a piece of this. So we're going to start with this little light pink color. Um, it has a little bit of shimmer and a little bit of glitter in it. And one of the reasons I love BH Cosmetics shadows is because they are very buildable. So you can start off very light and make it very pale or you can do it very bold. So I'm going to just layer uh, a few coats of this on my eyes and then don't forget those inner tear ducts which is with the same brush, the same flat brush works perfect for these kind of shadows and there is a slight shimmer in it which I think is beautiful for summer. Then we're going to take this hot pink which is my favorite color in the whole palette and we're going to take it and just swipe it into our crease and above our crease in a windshield wiper motion. You just go back and forth, back and forth like a windshield wiper and I love this stuff. Uh, don't be afraid of bright bold colors. I think it just makes your eyes pop and you're going to blend it out so it's going to be fine. And then take the palest pink and you're going to actually just go underneath your eyebrow arch and just highlight up over that and then go on with that first pink color and just pat on your eyelids what you missed and with a clean blending brush just blend away this is just kind of picking up a little of the color that you may not want and then with the pencil brush you're going to just go in and define that crease with this beautiful purple from the palette and you're going to do a cut crease motion where you're not going as high nor do you have as big as a brush or as much product on your brush and you're just going to kind of do a windshield wiper motion but not all the way across the eyelid and then take this electric blue, I love this, and we are going to do a waterline shadow, and I'm a little bad with under eye stuff, but it's okay if you flutter when you use powder, that's why I don't like to line the bottom of my eyes, I just like to use powder, because my eyes are sensitive, and then since I have the palette, I'm going to just use this nice matte brown to fill in my shadows, it's kind of nice to have all your powders that you're going to be using in one palette, especially if you're traveling, or just to have it, and you don't have to keep getting up and getting your different powders and what have you, and I love this color for my brows. Then I'm going to do my eyes, I have the Marc Jacobs liner, it's a liquid liner, the YSL Baby Doll Mascara, and the Dior Show Blue, and so I lined my, uh, lines off camera because I'm really bad at it. I get really shaky on camera but this Dior Show Blue Mascara is to die for. I've been loving doing my lower lash line with this. It really pops your eyes especially when you have a bright color like the blue underneath. And then for my blush I'm going to pile on the blush because this is the only powder I'm going to be using on my face nor contour or anything. This is the Azalea blush from MAC and I'm going to really just heavy duty this to make me look like a little doll and then the Azalea in the afternoon is a perfect color by MAC to go over top and I am using a Real Techniques brush. Now for the lips. This is my favorite lip combo ever. It's a little dramatic and definitely not natural, but then again, we're not really going for the natural look, are we? So I'm going to outline my lips in this MAC Pink Poodle color, and it's gorgeous. Any hot pink lipstick will do just fine. Um, I like to outline my lips in lipstick because it gives it a little bit of a thicker line, and I think it's just longer lasting, and it doesn't bleed as much as lip liners do, in my opinion. Then you're going to take your lighter pink, and again, this is not supposed to like blend. It gives it more of like this ombre look, and I love this. This is by YSL, and I put that over top in a dabbing motion. And then I go in with my Dazzle Glass or any pink sparkly lip gloss, and again, do a dabbing motion right over where you put that light pink, and I think it just makes your <laughs> lips look totally different than most people, and it gives it a little dimension and a little more fullness if you have little lips like me. So that concludes the makeup look, and I just love to pose. Does anyone else just stare at themselves and pose and make 
weird phases thinking they look oh so hot after they're doing the makeup just me okay um so there's your little barbie look but what's a barbie without a few uh accessories accessories here we go uh, i love this pink headband this is from sky collection i can link them below super glitzy and fun and then your favorite scent i've been loving this very sexy beach scent from victoria's secret it smells like summer and it's gorgeous i like to i would bathe in this stuff if i could and there is my completed summer bright makeup tutorial. If you guys want me to do any more makeup tutorials, suggest them in the comments below. So I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. I don't do makeup tutorials that often because I don't know if you guys like them. So make sure if you do like these tutorials to thumbs up and let me know. Leave a comment below what your favorite thing about summer is. I just know I love bright colors. Like I'm in my tie-dyed gear. I'm just all about like fun and movies. And I don't know. I just love summer. For some reason I get super excited around summer and I just want to like show that through my makeup. I don't know. Anyways, if you guys try out this makeup tutorial, be sure you tag me on Instagram or Twitter at Trapetus so I can see your photos. And thank you guys so much for watching. Hi to Rick Moranis. And until next time, here are my kissies for my little baby fishies. Mwah! Bye, guys.